okay, I think it's going to work now. Right, there we go. Where is my controller at? There it is. So like I said like a couple minutes ago there, I'm just going to reiterate since this session's going to start here on the YouTube VODs. Uh, tonight's session will be a little bit shorter because I played about three hours of Mega Man Battle Network just before this. And my throat's a little bit tired, so... I won't be doing like a full two hour session of this tonight, it'll be more like one to one and a half hours of even that. But I can make up for that by a more doing a more substantial session next time I play this game. I'll see if I can complete at least one world. I mean, we're already we're already in the middle of a world, the Sakura Village world, so we'll just continue with that for now. Thunder Bridge, Thunder. Whoa, that's a lot of rain. Oh, so I believe this thunderclouds is a custom thing. I don't think this was in New Super Mario Bros. for Wii. It kind of reminds me of the thundercloud from Mario Kart. Oh shit, I was trying to hit that there with the ice flower. But it reminds me of the thundercloud from one of the Mario Kart games. Was it Mario Kart DS or Mario Kart 7? What was the... which Mario Kart was it where you had like a thundercloud that makes you go faster but it also shrinks you after like 10 seconds? Which game was that from? Mario Kart Wii? So I haven't brought this up on stream yet because I forgot about it until like halfway through me streaming Mega Man Battle Network. But I guess now's a good time to start talking about it because I wasn't going to talk about it during a game that was like very text heavy. So I finally watched the last few episodes of DuckTales 27... When did that show come out? 2017? Because they... oh. Ah shite. Alright, welcome back, Cray. So, I finally watched the last few episodes of DuckTales 2017, that reboot that came out a few years ago, and sadly the show is not being renewed for a fourth season, like they confirmed that about a, half a year ago, so season three is the final season of that show. So, they had to basically wrap everything up in the final episodes, like the final few episodes of season three, pretty much. And all things considered, I think they ended pretty strongly. But if you look really closely at like some of the, the plot threads, you could maybe kind of come to the conclusion that they want to do more with the series. Because like some stuff that they introduced in that season don't really get a proper send-off or like a proper wrap-up. Which kind of sucks. But overall, I think the final episode of DuckTales 2016 or 2017, whatever year that show came out, was pretty good. Damn. But yeah, the final episode of DuckTales was, like, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but I will say this. The final episode is like a triple length episode, it's like an hour long as opposed to 20 minutes. And they start off the episode with like this one big mystery that's like kind of comes out of nowhere and it's like what the fuck is this about? And then they answer that about halfway into the episode and then they start like really building up toward the conclusion. Oh this thing makes me small. Right okay. Prana plant please. Yeah. 
Yeah, I missed one star coin already. But yeah, DuckTales 2017, really good show, a way better reboot than it has any right to be. And it's a shame that the show got cut a little bit short in general because Disney for some reason was like, yeah, we're not going to renew this for a fourth season. Apparently, I'm not sure how true this is, but apparently, uh, what's that, what's that other show? Uh, for DuckTales that was like, it was like a spin-off to DuckTales, it was Darkwing Duck. Apparently a Darkwing Duck reboot is in the works. So I guess that's part of the reason why they were like, you know, cancelling the reboot of DuckTales because they wanted to focus on that maybe, if that's the case. But yeah, whenever the, if there is a Darkwing Duck reboot, whenever that happens, I will definitely check that out. Again, the rain overlay, like the rain graphics seem a little bit too intense. But there's way too much like rain particles for my liking. Thankfully it only happens in that level it seems like. So we won't have to see that again. I'm not going to bother with that musical Mushroom House. Samurai Castle. Right, so I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to go back and get the Green Switch Palace. Also, I couldn't figure out how to stop the loading issues with this game. Oh wait, I did do that. Uh, did I? Wait a minute, did I do everything here? I may have missed something, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh god, speaking of the loading times. Yeah, so for some reason, like, for those that haven't watched me play this, like, in the last couple parts, there's a lot of loading in between, like, going to different areas. And I don't know how to fix this. I tried to figure it out, but I couldn't. Oh yeah, there's like a whole sub-area up here, like a different world thing. Should I do, do this now? Uh, You know what, let's check this out. I want to see what this is like. Then we'll finish up the Sakurai thing. Sat Sakurai? Sat Sakura? Uh, not Saka, <laughs> not Sakurai. Oh, I recognise this music. What is this from? Super Mario RPG? Yeah, I think this is Mario RPG music. I should stream that game sometime. Super Mario RPG is pretty fun. It's from Nimbus Land. Oh yeah, the 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 city in the sky. I don't remember much of the late game, but I remember that part of the game. Yeah, maybe in the future I'll stream Mario RPG. Like, I was thinking about streaming that game, like, back when the SNES Classic came out several years ago. But earlier that year, like, Vinny streamed that game all the way through and I watched him play that to completion. And then, like, within a month or two after he finished that game, Nintendo announced the SNES Classic, which came with the game. And I bought the SNES Classic anyway because I wanted to buy, like, you know, the little plug-and-play system with all the SNES games on it. But, it, like, because I watched his playthrough earlier that year, it was, like, too recent for me to be, like, yeah, I'll, I'll stream this game. But that was, like, what, four, three, four years ago that the SNES Classic came out? At least that's what it feels like to me. I think I missed a coin already. I like how the Manta Rays have, like, those goggles on that you see from... You know, the dolphins from, like, Mario Worlds. But yeah, maybe in the, I, th I think I will at some point in the future do Mario RPG. But I think... I don't know if I'll do it this year or if I'll do it next year, because I do want to stream Paper Mario in the next couple months. 
once I get my HDMI modification for my N64. And by the way, that's not me, like, trying to cover up the fact that I'm emulating some games. It, like, I actually do have a real N64 that I play N64 games on, and I want to get a HDMI thing fitted into it. But HDMI boards. If I'm lucky, I can get one of those boards next month. Yep. There we go. Well, I got the last star coin, but that's about it. Oh yeah, you can use your twirly thing to get rid of all this the, the clouds. Oh yeah, the Booster. When I was younger and I played that game, uh, I used to think that Booster was fucking Wario. Because he kind of looks like, you know, a scummier Wario. But yeah, the whole Booster's Tower thing in the, the Marry More City, where they like try to marry, like, he tries to marry, like, Peach or Princess Toadstool, that part was really fucking good. I don't remember everything about that game, but I remember like some key points of it. Like the late game stuff, for the most part, I don't remember that much of. Oi! That That's unfortunate. That's also unfortunate. Cool loading. Oh, no. That thing kills you? Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, I guess he kinda acts similar to Wario. Did Mario Land 2 come out, or Mario Land 3 come out, or whatever, when that game released? Because I don't know what the timeline for that is. Like, when did Mario RPG come out? Was that like 94, 95? Wario predates Booster? Right. For some reason, I thought I could bounce on that cloud there. Oh, come on. Doesn't look like I touched that one. Good thing I've got a billion lives. Oh! Okay, we're good. Not doing very good at this level in general. Why did I ju why did I do that? Despite the fact that there was like several golden coins leading me down in between those two clouds, my brain told me not to do that. Not to jump down there. But yeah, I've been I've been planning to like do Paper Mario for a while now, so maybe next month, maybe the month after that, depending on when I get my HDMI mod fitted into my Nintendo 64. You might end up seeing me play Pokemon Black 2 before I play Paper Mario, since I think I'm going to be doing that next month. And I don't know when I'm going to get that HDMI mod fitted, so... That could be next month, but it might be realistically maybe like a couple months away. Like, basically, it's like a new HDMI mod that like this company's making, and I'm just waiting for them to like announce when they're starting to take orders for it. And apparently the, the estimate is April, but it could be like later than that, so I really don't know when that HDMI mod is going to be ready 
for me to auto one of them. But yeah, I want to stream Pokemon Black 2 early this year because I've been planning to do that as well. And I'm going to be getting the new Pokemon remake that comes out next... Next... Later this year. Sorry, I couldn't form my sentence there for a minute. Professional bouncer. I think I... S hang on, did I see something there? Yeah, there's a coin down there. Is that a secret exit? Nope, that's the actual exit. It just links you back to here. Apparently Niantic is making something Pikmin related for mobile phones right now. No details on what it actually is. Yeah, that's interesting if Niantic is working on another Nintendo game. I think it would just be more of the same, because Niantic hasn't really deviated too much from the Pokemon Go formula. Because before Pokemon Go, they made... Fuck, what was that game called again? It was basically the same gameplay, but it didn't have Pokemon in it. I forgot what that game was called, but it was quite popular, I think, before Pokemon Go. When I say popular, I mean relatively speaking, in relative terms. God, the name's on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember what it is, but yeah. Niantic made some other, like, mobile game that had a similar gameplay loop to Pokemon Go. And then they made Pokemon Go, and then that really took off. Oh, jeez. Ah. I'm gonna suck at this level, aren't I? Shit! I tried to ground pound that there. That was a terrible mistake. Oh, fuck. Mmm. Yeah, this level's gonna suck. I've never been very good at the para beetle levels in Mario games. There was one particular part of High Pikmin that was actually really good. It was called Pikmin Park, basically a little sandbox area where you could let your Pikmin mess around in. You could see them making something like that, but much bigger in scale. I guess they could go for that kind of thing, I guess. Like, Nintendo hasn't really been, like, they had this, like, big plan for, like, making, like, mobile games. But they kind of, like, stopped doing that. I mean, they're, they're still, like, making, like, they're still supporting, fuck, what was it called? Mario Kart Tour. But wasn't there supposed to be, like, a, a Zelda mobile game? And that, apparently that got scrapped. I guess Nintendo realised that getting into the mobile market, like, trying to penetrate that market to make money, like, ad revenue is not that easy. Not ad revenue, sorry, just make revenue from, like, sales. Because people have been normalised to accept, like, no more than, like, a dollar for a game. So when you have something like that Mario game, Mario Run or whatever it was called, and you charge that for, like, ten dollars, no one's gonna buy that. Like, they're gonna look at that and be like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not spending $10 on what should be a $1, ga $1 game, at most. Oh, 
But then they were like, then Nintendo had this ingenious idea to be like, oh, what if we made like a, a free-to-play Mario Kart game and just like front load that with like all sorts of microtransactions for cosmetics and gacha shit. So that's like probably the most financially successful thing Nintendo's done for the mobile market, I guess. For better or for worse, of course. Like, I'm not necessarily condoning they do that shit, but that's the route they went with the Mario Kart game. It's kind of sad that Nintendo's put more effort into Mario Kart Tour than they have with the, the, the Switch port of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has never had any content to it ever since the release, and that was like, what, four years ago? Oh, fuck. I can salvage this. No, I can't! Mario Kart Tour was legit trash. Yeah, I never played Mario Kart. Like, I just stayed away from that game. I didn't bother with it. I figured it wasn't that good. It's the kind of thing where you play it for like five minutes and you're like, oh, that's kind of a nice novel game. Now I'm gonna uninstall it or like never play it again. You know what I hate about the mobile market? I hate it when companies like trot out the download numbers like that actually means something. It's like, oh, this game had 50 billion downloads, but only like 10 people actually liked it. Or in the case of, going, again, going back to Super Mario Run, it's like, oh, this game got 10 million downloads. But 10 million downloads of the trial version, not the full game, like the game that you have to like pay $10 for. So that, that, that number doesn't mean anything. Got it. I did it! There we go. Nice. Well, I'm glad that I'm done with that level. The Parabeetle levels have never been my favourite in Mario games. I usually suck at that platforming challenge. Like, don't get me started on that Parabeetle level in Mario 3, like, that one I die on all the fucking time. So my lives count doesn't go above 99 lives, but it doesn't really matter because that's more than enough. Sprocket Skies. But yeah, Mario Kart Tour, it had potential, but it was just like a dumpster ground for like, you know, microtransactions from what I heard. Especially since it has like a lot of like gacha stuff and you would never think Nintendo would like resort to gacha stuff, but I guess that was their response to being like, oh, Mario Run didn't like sell that well, so I guess we're gonna have to like go the mobile route and just like front load it with a billion microtransactions to make any semblance of money off of it. And you know what the sad thing is? I think it actually made them a good bit of money. See, Pokemon Go has microtransactions, but you don't... Here's the thing about Pokemon Go, right? You'd never actually have to spend money to, like, play the game. I mean, it's the same for Mario Kart, but in Mario Kart you've got gachapons to unlock carts that get you better skills and stuff. But in Pokemon Go... I've I played that game for... When did that game come out? Like, five years ago? I've played that for five years now, and I've never spent a single penny in that game. Everything I've earned in that game is just through gameplay. In fact, I still have, like, 4,000 in-game coins that I've not spent yet. I'm waiting until... Like, every once in a while, they'll update the, the limitation of how many Pokémon you can carry in your inbox. I'm waiting for that to, like, get increased so that I can, like, buy some more storage. Not sure if I can go in any of these pipes, I guess not. You're severely disadvantaged if you don't pay to win in Mario Kart, it's nothing like Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking. It quite literally is just pay to win from what I've been from what I've been told. The 
Oh, so I've never seen a front-facing para beetle before. It looks weird. Shit! Bye! That was your fault. Not you, Cray. The, the, the enemy that I stomped on. Oh. I'll take that instead. That's way better. No, oh, oh, oh. My hopes and dreams crushed. That's fine, I can grab it again. Oh, jeez. There we go. Yeah, let's try not get crushed this time. Crusher. There we go. Ay ay ay. Yeah, I'm not very good at like maintaining my power ups, am I? Also I see a secret in there. Oh not in there that like I see something in there, but I'm not sure how to get in there. Right, let's try that again. God, my throat is sore right now because I strained it earlier just like playing Mega Man Battle Network. It was mainly doing like Dex's voice and doing that like one guy that had the Scottish accent. Like I really hammed up my Scottish voice for that part. There we go. No. So you don't go in from that side. I wanted to double check because I wall jumped off it at one point, so I couldn't like check the entire wall. Oh yeah, did anyone hear about that supposed controversy with Game Grumps and, like, Dan? And apparently it's not true, like, it was just, like, some rando just, like, accusing him of, like, grooming them or something like that. It was a whole thing. Like, I've said this before and I'll say it again, like, I stopped paying attention to the Game Grump stuff, like, when JonTron left, basically. Like, I think I've said this before, and I'm going to say it now in case I haven't said it, but I want to reiterate regardless. JonTron fucking carried that show on his back. Like, looking back, I honestly think he was the much more talented person of the two, like him and Eren. Like, I, I liked Eren for, like, his, like, contribution, I guess. But the chemistry between them was, like, much better, in my opinion, and he, like, John, it wouldn't be as half as good without JonTron, which is why I stopped watching it when he left. You know what's really funny, actually? Like, when this controversy went down, JonTron, like, on his official, like, Twitter account, responded to the, the, the drama thread, and he was like, oh, does this mean we can finally finish Sonic 06? And I was like, oh, god damn, JonTron. Almost ten years since you got booted from Game Grumps and you're still fucking carrying that show. But yeah, I'm still a little bit, like, part of me is still a little bit sour that, like, John left. Especially since they were, like, so close to finishing Sonic 06, because I watched that entire playthrough. They were, like, what, a, a few parts away from finishing the game. 
Like that Sonic 06 playthrough, like with John Tron and uh, Aaron. Some of the fucking funniest shit they did. Like one of the best moments was the moment where like they break the game and like Knuckles gets stuck on the wall. And they like do this whole bit with each other where they like start getting extremely like dramatic for some reason. Like that shit was really funny. There we go. I missed the middle coin, but I don't really care. Like, when I said they were so close to finishing it, they were, like, literally, like, four, three or four parts from the end of the game. Like, they were very close to, like, the... What do you call it? Like, the final story? Like, the part where Sonic supposedly gets killed off by Mephiles. And then, like, Princess Elise, like, kisses him and shit. Like, they were, like, that close to that fucking part of the game. Which makes it all the more, like, you know, painful that they didn't even, like, get to that part. Because I wanted to hear their reactions to that also. Oh, I have to press down to continue. Right, okay, well, I guess we'll finish this and then we'll go back and finish the Sakura uh, town. Nice. Motherfucking sniped. This is a cool idea for a castle. Oh, I thought I could, like, wrap around there. You know how, like, some Mario levels where if you leave the right side, you come out of the left? This isn't one of those levels. Oh, don't want to... Gotta be careful, because you can easily get crushed in this level by the looks of things. Oh, I can't dial it the other way. Oh, shit. Oh. You know what I should do for shits and giggles? I should, like, binge, like, the John Tron era Game Grumps again for old time's sake. Like, it's been a long time since I've watched that stuff. Like, I think there's a playlist on YouTube that has all the John episodes. Like, they're, like, they did, like, so many good, like, playthroughs. Like, the Mega Man 7 playthrough is another, like, good one. Seven aces! Oh, shite. Alright, well, there goes my hammer suit. This music kind of sounds similar to Castlevania music. It has a little bit of a Castlevania ring to it, I guess. No secrets? Nope, no secrets. You think that would take you to a sub area if you went up there? Who are you going to start with? Uh, are you going to start with Snivy and Pokemon Black, White, and Two White? Wait, wait, I, I can't read. Black Two and White Two. Uh, I thought about it, and because I did Snivy in the first game, I'm gonna do Oshawott for the second game. I don't know. 
I, I like, like, Oshawa is my second favourite of the three starters. I don't give a shit about Tepig. But yeah, I'll be going with Oshawa. That's going to be my pick for Pokemon Black 2. Again, I'll probably be doing that in April, like maybe mid-April I'll start that. Like, because I, I want to play Pokemon Black 2 relatively early in the year so that I don't... Like, by the time, you know, the Diamond and Pearl remake comes out at the end of the year, I won't burn out on Pokemon. And that game comes out, like, what, November? So that's like, that'll give me at least six months to, like, you know, cool down between games. I did it! I don't know why I keep saying that. Like, I don't know why I keep parroting that one line. Any power-ups around here? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Alright, so... Oh, it's just the end of the level. I thought there was going to be a boss fight coming up, but nah. Wait, there's no... Invisiblox? Nothing? Oh, there is. Don't you love it when you miss that one spot when you're jumping around? Samurot is genuinely a really cool design. I guess it is, yeah. Right, with that Sky City finished, let's go back and do the Sakura Town, or Sakura Village, whatever that place was called. Masahiro Sakurai Village. Again, sorry about the loading, I couldn't figure out how to fix that. It just may be an issue of the overclocked GameCube. Also, where is this? Seven two. Oh, this is much further into the game. Right, so that's a shortcut to a later part of the game. I'm not going to stop that yet. I'm going to go back. Yeah, because we're on world, we're on world five right now. That's world seven, so that's like two worlds ahead. For Gen six, they just gave it. Uh, let me read. Sorry, I I. I I love it when I read one message and then it's like a continuation of something you said before, so I have to go back and look for the one, you know, that's like related to it. The Tepig Embor line is kind of bleh in my opinion. Doesn't help that it's using the third line of fire fighting starters. For Gen 6 they just gave it to the grass starter instead. Game Freak seems to be obsessed with fire and fighting starters. Yeah, they, they usually go with that, that, with that combination I've noticed. Right, so that was a fun little world. Let's go back and finish the Sakura place. I'm gonna be heading off. You've got, your migraine's not getting much better. Oh, that's fine then. You go rest up if you need to. Thanks for watching. I'm not gonna be. I won't be playing this for that much longer tonight anyway, like another 30 minutes of this. Like, I'll finish this world up and then I'm gonna go back and do the... I don't know, like the other mini world that I didn't do yet. World A or whatever. Samurai Castle. Also, seeing a Mario game with these, like, you know, Asian or, like, Buddha statues in the background kind of reminds me of that, like, you know, Mario, Super Mario Land, where there's, like, a, a level that's, like, kind of loosely based around China. I'm kind of getting those vibes right now from this level.
Shit. I wanted to put that much closer to the edge. I was doing something. Yeah. Bear with me. Actually, I'm, I'm, I am overthinking this. Wow, really? Does that spring even hit that thing? Let me check. Can I... Can I... Can I grab this without... Oh, you can, right? Okay. Sorry, I thought if I touched that, it, I would take damage. That's why I was, like, so afraid to, like, touch that. Time for them church organs. Not sure how to get into that pipe there. I'm trying to figure that one out. I guess down there. So I finally finished watching the rest of Futurama over the last couple of days. Like, after I finished the, the video game, I watched the last few episodes of Season 10 on, on the, the Disney Plus service. And I've been saying this for the last few days now, but I'm just going to reiterate. The Comedy Central era, definitely a very hit and miss era. Like, there's a few, like, really rotten apples among that bunch. But there's also like some really amazing episodes in there as well, and it starts to get a little bit better toward the end of the Comedy Central era. Like the last few episodes are like really good, and the the series finale is also a really good episodes to go out on. There we go. Like the final episode is called Meanwhile, so if you want to look that one up for yourself, I would recommend it. It's a really good episodes. Oh, is this the Ninja Shy Guy? Yep, Ninja Shy Guy is back. Alright, turns out Fireball does fucking jack shit. Now for the airship. I wonder which coupling it's going to be this time. What? 
Not screw. <laughs> so I, I, can't, I can't see the fucking word nut in this day and age without giggling. That's just that's just the way things are now. I blame Vinny for that. Nut. Oh, by the way, I've been spending the last couple of days being, uh, doing PC maintenance. I installed a brand new 2TB SSD. And I've been meaning to get, like, a 2TB SSD for a while now because I want to gradually upgrade my PC. Which I may not get all the components that I'm looking for this year, but I'm basically in the process of, like, getting new shit for my PC. I want to get a new CPU and a new GPU, but I don't know if I'm going to get the latter because, you know, scalpers being scalpers. But at the very least, I've got a new SSD and it's really good and I've installed a brand new copy of Windows 10 onto it. Because my current Windows 10 installation I've been using for the last four years is now... Let's just say it's like, kinda fucked up. Like, some of Microsoft's like updates to Windows 10 has kinda like screwed it up. And it's got to the point now where the latest update will not even install. Every time I try to install it, it doesn't work. So, my old installation of Windows 10 is going to, like, get quickly outdated as a result of that. So I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just going to do a brand new installation to this SSD. So I did that uh, a few days ago, and I've just been in the process of, like, migrating shit over. I'm currently using my old Windows 10 installation just to, like, stream right now. Because I haven't moved all my OBS stuff over yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow, I think. But I've moved a bunch of other stuff over today. Yeah, I did a whole bunch of, like, program and setting migration to my new Windows 10 installation. So, quite happy about that. I've also been playing a little bit of Jedi Fallen Order on Game Pass. Really good game. Really enjoying it so far. I've only put, like, four hours into it so far. But I can already tell that I'm going to really enjoy that game. Just making sure I didn't miss anything there. Aye! Well, that sucks. Did I get the checkpoint on this one? I don't know if I did. Oh no, I did. Right. So, hopefully I can get my OBS settings. Like, you would think it would just be as simple as installing OBS to the new Windows setup and then carry my settings over. Like, there's a little bit more to it than that and it's kind of complicated to explain, so I'm not going to bother explaining it. But take my word for it, there's a little bit more to it than just simply copying the settings over. So, hopefully next time I stream I'll have everything carried over and I can just start using my new Windows 10 installation. Oh, hey there, green. Not much. Oh, 
Oh yeah, so like I said, I finished watching uh, Futurama, like I finished all the episodes on Disney+. Plus. It was fun binging that over the last month or so. But guess what I started binging now, and people who watch me play like the last part of the Futurama video game will know this already, because I kind of like alluded to it during that stream. But I've started binging Family Guy, because I hate myself. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the first several seasons of Family Guy are actually entertaining and fun. What, what's the name of this coupling again? Because I don't remember this one's name. But yeah, I'm currently on season 2 of Family Guy. I've just been mostly watching that over the past couple days. I don't know how far I'm going to go with Family Guy because it starts to get really bad after like, I don't know, a few seasons in. Ouch. Like, after season 5 or 6 or something, Family Guy just, like, really goes downhill. Like, I've said that on stream before, but Family Guy these days is just basically... Okay, how, ca how can we shock the audience today kind of humour? Like, that's basically all Family Guy's devolved into these days. But the older episodes were actually entertaining and had a lot of good jokes in them. Yeah, it had a lot of cutaway gags as well, but... That was always Family Guy's thing, and it adds to the, the show's charm, but nowadays it's just like, oh, it's, we'll, we'll just we'll just try to offend people in every fucking possible way imaginable. Can I even make it over there now? I think I may have fucked myself here. Oh no, I can still make it. I may eventually check out that Family Guy video game for shits and giggles, but I don't know when I'm going to do that yet. Hey, I always get hit by that. Let's try and not die this time. Also, weird how the boss entrance is a pipe and not, you know, like a boss door. boosted through that last one. So even though this game has custom boss fights, I don't think the bosses themselves have been tweaked any because it seems like the same as like the original version of the Wii game. At least I don't recall it being any different from that. Alright, so Sakura Village has been fully completed. I'll do a couple levels in the snow area and I'm going to end the stream after that because I'm not going to be doing more than another, I don't know, 10-20 minutes of this. Again, I would have played more tonight, but my throat's tired. I'm not, like, I'm not necessarily, like, physically tired, it's just my throat hurts a little bit. Because I did a lot of, uh, quote-unquote voice acting during the first half of the stream. So I don't want to, like, push that. Also, this is nice snow music. Yeah. There we go. This music sounds familiar. Is this from any particular Mario game? Oh, so why can't I just continue ground pounding that? Yeah, I've heard this music somewhere before, and I, I don't remember where. Oh, 
Also, the introduction of the Ice Bros. I'm tempted to- oh shit. I was- I was tempted to say that it's Mario Kart music from a particular Mario Kart game, but I can't quite place it. It might be Double Dash's, like, ice level, I think that's what it's from. Hang on. I need to double check this. What's the ice level in Double Dash called again, if anyone remembers? Double Dash Ice Music. Sherbert Lands? No, it's not that song. Mario Kart Wii Ice Music? DK Snowboard Cross Summit? No, I don't think it's that. Ice Ice Outpost? Is it this? No, it's not that. God, this is going to drive me insane. If anybody knows what song that is that's playing during this level, let me know. Because I know I've heard it somewhere before, but I don't remember where. Okay, now I can ground pound it. I couldn't do that before. Like I was holding down the last time and it didn't register like a continuous down. DK pass from Mario Kart DS. I'm gonna look that up just to verify. Not that I don't believe you, but I just want to double check for myself. DK pass Mario Kart. If I can type Mario Kart DS. I think it's this. It is. Yeah, so it's from Mario Kart DS. Yeah, that's that's definitely the song, right? Thanks for, for checking that for me. Because I knew I heard that somewhere, but I couldn't remember where it was. It's that kind of, like, nagging feeling in the back of your brain that, like, really pestles you until you figure out what it is. Or until somebody tells you. Also, look at the Goombas. <laughs> They've got little Santa hats. Oh, penguin suit. Penguino. Ah, oh, shite. Well, that was a waste. There we go. I think I'm going to go back and do, uh, what was it, World A, B, or C? I forgot which one it was. Where was that extra world that I didn't do yet? It was... 
Fuck, I don't remember. I think it was over here. Or was it over here? I actually no, I don't I don't think. I think there was like one over here and then there was one here and then this one didn't have anything. And then Sakura Village had one, so I, I don't think I missed anything actually. Yeah, we'll just continue with the snow world for now. We'll do a couple more levels of the snow world and I'm gonna call it a night. Again, sorry about the loading, I don't know how to fix that. Doesn't seem like there's an easy way to fix it. Once once I get all my shit migrated to the new Windows 10, I should fucking try loading this off my SSD. Maybe it'll load faster then. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to fix it, I guess. Maybe that would load it much quicker. Snowball fields. Monty moles, but with snowballs. Okay, well, you don't, need, you don't need to tell me what this music is. I recognise this. Snow music from Mario 64. <laughs> Little Koopas with like parkours or whatever you call them, like winter jackets. That's kind of silly, but I like it. I approve. Oh, can't bounce off of that. Park Koopas, yeah, exactly. I always like this mechanic from Mario 3 where you can like melt the ice blocks. It is cool how the developers went out of the way to like remodel, you know the Goombas and the Koopas just so that they have like little pieces of like clothing or whatever for each world. Again, details you wouldn't expect to be in like a, a, a ROM hack like this, but they're there. And it's all the more appreciated for it. Like, have a look at that. That's, that's, the fu that's fucking adorable, that. I can't get enough of it. Which is why I have to get rid of it. What's that they say? You have to you always hurt the ones you love most? Or some something like that, I don't know. Okay. Well, there goes my fire flower. I don't think I can get that. Oh well, it's not worth it. Yep, it's too cute to live. The little Santa hat Goombas are kind of cute as well. But just like seeing the Koopas like wearing parkours over their shells, like that's just like extra cute, I guess. Uh, let's see, we'll do one more level. Which one should I pick? Frostbite Ridge or Frosty Highlands? 
uh, we'll do this one. Back to the DK pass music. Oh yeah, so there's like this indie game that came out on Steam, and I, I'm kind of interested in it, but I don't know if I'm going to get it because it's like an early access. So it's not going to get a full release until later this year. I forgot what it's called. Hang on, let me check. Like, one of my friend friends told me about it in DM, so I'm just going to check real quick. It is called... It's called Rolled Out, and it's on Steam. It's like an early access game. Watch the trailer for that game on Steam. It looks basically like Super Monkey Ball. And I don't mean like modern day Monkey Ball. I mean like the good ones, like the first two games. But yeah, I wanted to pick it up, but it's like an early access, so it doesn't have all the levels and the content yet. So I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to wait for most, if not all, the content to come out, and then I'm going to pick that game up. It's only like $20. So eventually I'd like to check that out. I do love like classic Super Monkey Ball, you know, like the good games. None of that banana blitz bullshit, like the one that's on the Switch. I really don't get why, of all the fucking games, like Sega's like, you know what, we should put banana blitz on the Switch. What's that, Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2? Nah, let's put the one on the Wii on there instead. Because I'm sure people wanted that. I like how you can tell which colour they are just by looking at their boots. Oh Jesus, that was stupid. Right, so that's the four hour mark now, so I'm going to be heading off soon. I would have streamed this for another hour or so, but again, my throat's tired, so... Once I'm finished with this level, I'm just going to save and quit. The only Monkey Ball game that you know is from Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Or rather, yeah. I, I don't know if I read that right, but I get what you're saying there. Oh, you can't bounce on that? You think you could bounce on that thing, but I guess not. I mean, I know it's a reskinned Poké, but I didn't think it would have like a hazardous hit box when it's wearing a fez, but I, I guess not. I mean, I guess it does. Look at that snowman on the left. Oh, okay then. Bye, Koopa. Shit. Nope, couldn't avoid that. But yeah, if you ever play Super Monkey Ball, uh, Green Yoshi Guy, get, like, try out the first two games, like, they're both on GameCube. 
sadly they haven't got modern ports. Like the most modern version of those games you can get is on the original Xbox, uh, Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, which is like basically both games meshed together. But that game, unlike a lot of old Xbox games, has not been brought forward on the Xbox uh, backwards compatibility program. So you cannot play that on like modern Xbox systems, sadly. So your best bet is just to get the GameCube versions through, you know, certain means. But maybe someday uh, Sega will end up porting those games, like do a high definition port on the Switch. I'd be happy with that. But yeah, Rolling Out, or whatever that game is called, Rolled Out. R-O-L-L-E-D-O-W-T. O-O-O-U-T. O-U-T, not O-W-T, what the fuck am I saying? But yeah, that, that indie game looks really promising. It's only like 20 bucks. It's not like fully finished, of course, but it looks really good. Right, okay, well this is where I'm going to stop for the night. So, again, sorry for the shorter session of this than usual. Uh, next time we'll do a proper 2-3 to three hour session of this to make up for that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this for a little bit. I hope you enjoyed watching me play a little bit of uh, Battle Network. Now I'm going to put up the end screen and give my throat a rest.